hijo de puta Hello everyone, what is up? It is Brooke Tomo here and today I'm doing a Q&A with my little baby girl Baby girl Sprinkle Margaret Jean, my little Italian greyhound Sprinkle, come here Whoa! It's the star of the video Hi Mug Hi Margaret You always hide your ears when you're embarrassed Don't you? It's okay to be embarrassed. Oh, swerving. Excuse me. Love me. Oh, sneezy. <laughs> so I posted on my Instagram to ask me any questions that you have about Sprink. And I will do the best that I can to answer all of them. So the first question is, what's her nickname? So first of all, well, let's just go over what her full name is. And her full name is Sprinkle Margaret Jean Thompson. That's her name. Don't wear it out. So Sprink is probably her first, like I call it Sprink more than I call it Sprinkle. Sprinkle Sprinky. That's usually what we go by in this household. If I feel like she's being a bit sassy or a bit rude, like her name's just Margaret. I feel like that's her alter ego and that is like more of a dramatic kind of attention whore vibes from Sprinkle. So if she's ever, you know, trying to pull the limelight or, you know, trying to give me a run for my money, her name's Margaret. But if she's being fun and playful, her name's Marg. Hey Margs, like I, she's Marg at the moment for sure. Hey Marg, you're just super sweet and cute and funny. You're so cute. Otherwise, if she's being a little terror, I call her Merg. So her name's Merg, like Sprinkle Merg or just Mergs. Hey Mergy. So her name's Sprinkle. Oh, that was a bit Mergy of here. Sprink, Sprinky, Margaret, Marg, Merg. Um, and then it goes to things like Jeanal Beanal or like Margaret Gina Bean or Muggy Jean. I love you so much. Okay, next question. When's her birthday and will she have a party like Cedar? I did a celebration for Cedar's first birthday in my last video. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. But um, yes, of course, Sprinkle will be having a birthday party like her sister. And her first birthday is on the 6th of October. What's her personality like? So her personality is unique. Like, if I had to sum her up in one word, it would be unique. Sprinkle is so her own dog. And, like, when I say that, I feel like if you had... You know how some kids, like toddlers, they're two, and people are like, oh, she's, like, two going on 18. That's Sprinkle. Like, she's just a lot sometimes, but also at the same time, she's not much at all. And, like, <laughs> she's just so uniquely Sprink. And I feel like... If a dog could be unapologetically them, like that's what she is. Like she's just, she'll be a drama queen and then she'll be a soppy little cute snuggly bug and then she'll run around like a psychopath and then she'll try and attack Cedar like, like she's fending for her life. And then, she, yes, she is cuddly sometimes when she wants to be, but other times she's like, oh, well, she's never like, don't touch me, but sometimes she's just like, I need my space, boo. And she'll just go and sit by herself. Um... But just hilarious also. Yeah, probably unique and hilarious. They're the best two words that suit her. <laughs> you look like Dobby. You look like Dobby. Maybe we need to change our location. Because it just doesn't look like you're very comfy here, bub. Just pause the video and be right back. Um, I'm going to set up another little area because she doesn't seem to be very comfortable here. I think she'll be more comfortable now that she gets to sit down. Instead of being held by... Oh, what? Sprink. You're being a drama queen. Okay, I'm vibing. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, so resume. Describe her in three words. So I kind of just did, but I reckon in Sprink in three words to me is hilarious, unique, and cute. Like she's just so cute, man. What is Sprinkle's worst habit? Okay, I know. Sprinkle is a thief. She's a bandit. She's a thief. Like, if you have anything of... It, it honestly doesn't even matter. She doesn't even steal particular things. She steals everything. Like, sneaky, man. She's so sneaky. Like, you'll blink and she will have taken something off your lap. Or, like, she just... <laughs> I don't know if all Iggy's do this, but she'll just, like, with the little tippiest of her little teeth, if I'm writing something in my diary and I get up and I go to the kitchen, she'll just lean over and grab the pen and then just walk away and chew it. 
until it's broken. Or like loves a napkin, loves a napkin. Also just, um, I mean she is going through that teething stage at the moment so I guess that she does want to chew on things to help her teeth but like you've got so many toys that are literally designed for that purpose and she'd just rather steal something that I have. Look at that little huggy stick pointing out to the side. Mm, I love you so much, you're so cute. You're so cute. Right, next question. What's her best trait? Okay, so I, I honestly think her best trait is just how committed she is to just being her own dog. Like, Sprinkle's got the attitude of like, if someone was like, I don't like this about you, Sprinkle turn around and be like, yeah, I don't care, it's who I am. Soz, but deal with it. I just think she's so funny. She's just such a little character. And I feel like Iggy's are. It doesn't matter what Iggy you find. I feel like so many of them are so strong headed when it comes to whatever they want to do, they'll just do it. And like by no one else's rules except for their own. Like Sprinkle sleeps under the covers and in the morning I'll get up and I'll be like, all right, Sprinkle, come on. And like she's fully submerged in under the covers at this point. Like she's just a little bulge in the middle of the bed. And I'm like, come on, Sprink. And she's just, she's like, no, no. I'm like, Sprinkle breakfast, come on. Just, just no movement. She's like, I'm literally not getting up because it's cold outside and you can't make me do it. Like, she's just funny like that. She's not your typical dog like Cedar, where I'm like, Cedar, food. And she's like, coming, mom. Sprinkle's like, food just doesn't really sit well with me right now. Like, I'd just rather be comfortable. Thanks so much for the offer, but I'm going to turn it down. She's funny. You're just a funny little bug. Thank you, brother. You're funny. Next question. What do you call her when she is in trouble? Her name, when she's in trouble, very much resembles a human name. So if I was ever in trouble as a kid, it would be Booker Lee's. It would be more so that you know, her parents get the, get the title. I'm here, Booker Lee's. So, the Sprinkle's a Sprinkle Margaret. If she's ever in trouble, I'm like, oh, Sprinkle Margaret. Oh, don't act like you're embarrassed. Cause you're not, she doesn't ever care. Like she's like, what? I'm like, sprinkle Margaret, you've ripped this up. And she's like, obviously I did. Like, what is the problem? I don't understand. I wanted to rip it up and I did. You obviously left it there for me and no one else. So stop wearing my name out. I don't appreciate that. Like, she's the Kim Kardashian of dogs, I feel. Does she bark? Only when she's fighting Cedar, like to the death. Like these two love each other, they seriously do, but Sprinkle gets very vocal when they're having a stare off or something, which they do all the time. No, you're right, are you a bit tired, Bobby? It's a bit cold here today, so. Does she bark at strangers? No, never. Does she bark at like any noise outside? No. But otherwise, no, she doesn't bark at anything other than play. Does she have any health issues? Uh, Sprinkle's only seven or eight months old. I'm pretty sure she's eight months old. And the only thing that she has had has been, she does have a heart murmur. You know, we went and got a specialist in cardiology to check it out. Why are you looking at me? Like, stop it. Ew, Sprinkle, don't. Like she's been, She's been sleeping all day and now that I have to do a video with her, she's like, oh my God, I'm so tired, mama. I'm so tired from being asleep all day. But yeah, so she does have a heart murmur. We went and had it checked out by a cardiologist and he's not concerned. He's like, there's nothing wrong. It won't affect her going under anesthetic. It's not going to affect anything later on in life unless it changes, then come and bring her back. But he's like, other than what it is right now and as it currently stands, she's fine. It's just her kind of normal, I guess, but she does have a heart murmur. And hopefully that's all she will have because she is still so young. Does she get along with Cedar? Yes, she fucking loves Cedar. It breaks my heart though because Sprinkle loves Cedar. And if you have an Italian Greyhound, you know that they're so, I want to you. You know that they're so cuddly as is and they just want to like feed off other people's warmth. And because Cedar's got a long coat, Sprinkle loves to snuggle in, but Cedar gets all bitchy. And like if Sprinkle comes over to her when she's laying down, Cedar goes and gets up and walks away. And I'm like, literally Cedar, drop and you'll sit there and you will let your little sister snuggle to you. Don't be so rude. Cause yeah, she loves Cedar. It's literally like little sister, big sister. You know how as a big sister, sometimes your little sister's really annoying. 
That's what Sia acts like sometimes. And I'm like, literally, Sia, shut up. She's your little sister. Like, appreciate her. So, yes, they love each other is the answer to that question. <laughs> what does she eat and is she a picky eater? She just eats Royal Cannon puppy biscuits at this stage in her life. And she's the least pickiest eater, like even less picky than cedar. Sprinkle stomach can be a little bit more sensitive than cedars, but like the size comparison in them is ridiculous. So not really, like I wouldn't really say Sprink has a sensitive tummy and no, she's definitely not a picky eater. She loves her food. Is she scared of anything? I don't think so. No. The only thing that she might get a little bit, uh, I'm not gonna say timid, cause she's not, she's quite a confident girl, but on our walks in the mornings, if we take her for a walk, whoever's walking past, like any human, she'll walk up and sniff them. And as soon as they turn around to pat her, she like runs away. And she doesn't like to be pat on the head. She only likes to be pat on the back. But I just think that's an Iggy thing. I feel like Iggy's a head shy. And if a stranger went to go pat them on the head, their first initial reaction is to kind of duck. But they're fine with being pat on the back and stuff. And the chest and even the neck. They just are a little bit funky with their heads. And Maple was the same too. But no, I wouldn't say she's scared of strangers. No, she's not scared. She just is a little bit like, don't touch me there. But yeah, I mean, that's all the questions that I got on my Instagram. And that's where I'll close the video out today. <laughs> Like, look at this. Are you serious? Are you literally looking at the same thing I'm looking at? She looks like a little Chinese dragon. Like, she's so cute. I want to squish your little brain until it pops. Like, I have mad cute aggression with her. She's so cute. Like, look at that. Just have a go at it. He's so, He's so cute. Bring. See, as soon as I put her in a little warm pouch, she's like living her best life. Whereas when she was out in the cold, she was not having a bar of it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got to know my little baby sprinkle a little bit more. If you have any video suggestions about what you'd like to see regarding the two girls, post them in the comments box below and I will film them for you. But other than that, I reckon I'm gonna film a Q&A now for Seed because I feel like a lot of my followers are from my dog videos and you obviously really like <laughs> what I put out about the girls. So I hope this helped you get to know Sprinkle a little bit more. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!